Hi, just an update to my uh, main channel video I just did. I'll link it in if you haven't seen it about how a Dymo have absolutely destroyed their reputation and business by being the first in the industry to introduce DRM digital rights management into uh, their labels to force you into using their brand labels. You can no longer use uh, any third party labels at all if you buy the new 500 or 5XL series printers from Dymo. And it, it, only an absolute fool would buy a Dymo printer now, and they're getting absolutely hammered in the reviews um, for their printers. Here's just an Australian site and they're just getting one star reviews all over the shop and Dymo are desperately trying to respond. Um, you know, they, they respond to everything, you know, trying to say, oh, it's, it's for your own good that we're doing this, you know, to have a better customer experience. Wank, wank, wank. I get, they're absolutely making fools of themselves. Anyway, if you thought that it was sneaky enough that the bastards were doing DRM in their uh, printers now, in their uh, paper, their labels, well, thanks to the um, viewer on uh, my previous video that um, pointed this out, they discovered that on Amazon, uh, they found it on Amazon UK, but if we go over to Amazon US, Look what the sneaky bastards have done, okay? Here's their new 550 Turbo laser printer, right? This is seems to be the official Dymo store, right? The official listing for the 550. And it's got 943 ratings. You know, look, it's got a 4.3, okay? So, you know, this is what you'd expect for any product, you know, most no, any decent product you'd expect, you know, mostly uh, thumbs up and then, you know, a, you know, a mix of others and a few disgruntled people because, I don't know, they couldn't use it or had some bad experience or whatever. But what they've done is these are not new ratings. What they've done is they've reused their old five, uh, 450 listing with all those good reviews going back years and they've simply replaced it. They've renamed it, relabeled it, uploaded the new photos, the new text, everything else. So they keep all their old good reviews because if you actually go down to the ratings down here, check it out. Look, all, all of the new reviews, nope, <laughs> 143 people found it useful, does not work with old labels or third party labels, doesn't work, 116 people found it useful, 119, less functionality than Dymo 400 series, it, I'm just so frustrated, uh, label bully, <laughs> Dymo is no longer a viable label printing option, but look, if you actually scroll past this, okay, you get from June 2020, handy tool, April 3rd, 2019. This product wasn't released, I think it was released like uh, the latter half of uh, 2020, last year. So it's been out like six months at most or something like this. So all these old reviews, February 2021, but all these good reviews are for the old, look, it even has it in the title, Dymo 450. The bastards are, have reused their listing because they know that they're going to get absolutely hammered. This is not by accident. This is very deliberate. They have deliberately reused their old listings so that they can get they keep all their old good ratings because most people won't scroll down. They'll just go by this. Or they'll, you know, they might even mouse over it, something like that, or you accidentally mouse over it. And, you know, people are just going to go by that. Oh, yeah, Dymo, I've heard of them. They're pretty good. Look, this gets like, you know, four and a half-ish stars. And yeah, I'll get that. And, <laughs> and you get locked in for life on their labels um, because there's just no compatible labels out there. Nobody's cloned the RFID chip inside the roll yet. And they're more like industrial uh, four by six inch uh, size label printer, the 5XL. They've done exactly the same thing. Look, 3,718 ratings. Look at this. You think this is pretty schmick label printer, right? For, you know, you use these uh, these bigger, wider ones for your, like uh, DHL and UPS or whatever uh, shipping uh, labels. I use a Zebra printer for this. I don't use a Dymo uh, for this and I never use a Dymo again. This is just unbelievable. Anyway, they've done exactly the same thing down here. If you look at all of the new things, so yep, I'm going to say this is helpful. Yep, new RFID chip that Dymo design forces you to buy their labels. Not joking. You cannot use any labels but Dymo, which are 300% more in price. I actually looked 
um, in my previous video, 10 times order of magnitude more price. And that's just like a local eBay seller, let alone if you're buying bulk from like a wholesaler or something like that. There's probably like two orders of magnitude difference in the price. Unbelievable. So here is why I gave this product a one star and that was pretty generous. <laughs> and as you can see, reviews dating back to 2016. Busted. Unbelievable. The sheer balls on them. You almost have to take your hat off, right? This is very clever. Reuse your old listing. Keep all your old good ratings and then just shove this new DRM technology and force people into using your new labels and base them on your old reviews. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. If Dymo couldn't get any worse, <laughs> there you go. Catch you next time.